There you are. I almost blew a circuit looking for you. You wish I had? You know, R2, sometimes I think you'd have been better off staying in that trash compactor. I'm terribly sorry, Commander. Motion Control Gaming has had fans of Star Wars crying out for a lightsaber-based game ever since the release of the Wii. With the success of the franchise license in Force Unleashed and Old Republic, it was only a matter of time before someone stepped up to the task of adapting that feeling to the Kinect. Microsoft unveiled Kinect Star Wars at E3 to a mixed response, promising to address any concerns before release. So is this the Star Wars game that fans have been pining after, or are we all the victims of a Jedi mind trick? Welcome, Padawans. Brought here in a dark time, you are. Time of trials, yes. Time of danger, great hope in you, we have. The overarching story involves you browsing through the Jedi records on Coruscant, but the Jedi Destiny mode acts as the main campaign. You assume the role of a Jedi Padawan on their way to Kashyyyk for training, right in the middle of a Trandosian invasion. You set off to discover the reason for the invasion and assist your master in quelling the threat in your journey to become a Jedi Knight. Other modes have their own story, whether it's the Rancor that escapes and goes on a rampage, or the unlikely janitor that rises to become a pod racing professional. Regardless of the modes you choose, the story is not really a driving force. Situations arise that are plucked straight from other games, and no attempt at producing anything unique is made. Given that Star Wars is a huge franchise with an extensive lore, the overall story is a lost cause. Visually, Kinect Star Wars lacks that certain polish. Rough background textures adorn most of the environments and character models fail to impress close up. These distractions can hold back the greater cinematic moments, especially since the animation is spot on during battles. The franchise license is best used in providing a familiar soundtrack with the authentic sounds of blaster fire or Wookiee war cries. Though the audio sync fails to match up at certain moments, the overall voice cast is up to par, with the return of familiar faces like Watto and Jennifer Hale's role as yet another Jedi Master, breathing a small amount of life into the otherwise uninteresting story. Each one of you is strong in the Force, brave, instructed in the teachings of our Order. But not all of you will become Jedi. In Jedi Destiny, you assume the role of a Padawan, using one hand to swing your lightsaber and the other to use the Force. Movement is implemented by stepping one foot forward to dash and jumping to flip over enemies or scale objects. What starts off with a simple battle droid soon has you facing off against tougher enemies that won't go down with a simple swing. There are attempts to mix up these combat sequences with speeder bike chases and one-on-one -on -one duels, which involve trading off between blocking and attacking. Despite good intentions, numerous issues arise. Pacing wears thin after the first planet. You have no ability to target a specific enemy, and hacking through hallway after hallway of battle droids loses appeal fast. The attempt to vary the gameplay with starship sequences and speeder bike chases often outstay their welcome, and the faulty tracking can mistake many movements. Ah, this was going to be my comeback year! Besides a standalone duel mode plucked straight from the campaign, the three variants offered outshine the lightsaber combat. Pod racing puts you behind the iconic vehicle against 11 other racers. Steering is performed by pulling back with your right hand to turn right and vice versa. Pulling both hands back and pushing forward will boost, and raising your left or right hand will use an item from your pre-race loadout. The mode holds up well enough with six different tracks and multiple racers and driving styles to choose from, but turning on a dime and careful handling are difficult to get the hang of for the tougher tracks. Day will be a day long remembered. The infamous Galactic Dance puts you against the most notorious figures of the franchise in a dance off. Much like Harmonix's Dance Central, you perform the moves listed on the flashcards and chain together combos for a high score and star ranking. There's no practice mode, you're thrown right into the mix with little explanation. In addition to several moves being repeated too often across the various songs, the Kinect can lose tracking of some of the dance moves. Still, the slight mistakes can be overlooked, especially since you cannot help but crack a smile at the lyrical adaptations to popular songs like Holla Back Girl transferred to the more topical Hologram Girl. The mode alone is worth playing just to see iconic figures getting down to famous songs. You say this ship be simple, but -E Rancor Rampage lets you assume the role of the infamous pit monster himself by hopping, charging, and stomping your way through one of four planets. 
A challenge mode will require you to perform specific actions for a boost in points, and fury mode will simply ask for you to survive the waves of enemies attempting to stop your tirade. Oddly enough, this proves to be one of the more enjoyable modes, as trampling through buildings and hearing the one-liners of flying civilians never disappoints, and the leveling system will keep you coming back for unlocked planets and different rancors. Controlling the rancor's movement can prove difficult, and precision once again fails to be the connect strong point in performing a few of the specified actions. Trust me, I do not taste like chicken. Remember me! There are multiple difficulties and unlocks in addition to a hop-in, hop-out cooperative multiplayer that makes Connect Star Wars much more enjoyable, but despite it all, the game fails to really capture the iconic Jedi experience that fans are seeking. Technical issues hamper each mode, and the repetitive hack-and-slash gameplay of Jedi Destiny ends up making the other experiences the more memorable ones. It's not all bad, it could be a fun game to pull out for a party or a family get-together, but for the solo crowd looking for their pivotal Star Wars title to flail around the living room to, these aren't the droids you're looking for. I can't stop. Jesus. Oh, come on. What do I do? Uh, sweet lord, you're the worst Jedi ever. Sure, you time your movements carefully. 